guys and welcome to my channel let me first say if you're watching this that means that somebody clicked on my video and I'm ecstatic thank you so much my name is Nina and I'm a 50 year old woman living in Norway and this is my first ever video YouTube video on this channel um, I have filmed this I think 20 times so fingers crossed I'll do it this time I'm not used to speaking English um, so my brain and my tongue are really struggling but okay um, today I'm going to show you how I have gone from my uh, Christmas decorations to my winter decorations. This is a discussion my husband and I have had for years. He claims there is nothing called winter decorations. It's just an excuse for me to have my Christmas decorations up for longer. He may be right, I don't know. Uh, but you will see, I will first show you how I've decorated for Christmas. I'll insert a video here. I'm sorry for the quality guys, this is filmed uh, with another camera and the lighting was awful. But as you can see I've decorated in traditional colors, in greens, reds and gold. And what I do when I switch from Christmas to winter, I tone it down a bit both with colors and with the decorations. So I take out the red and I leave um, green, white and gold or silver. Uh, so let's take a close look uh, at my fireplace mantle. I started by uh, hanging these two flocked garlands, uh, one on each side. I like when when the branches go the same same way and I used three large command hooks one in each corner I don't know if you can see there and one there and one in the middle which you can't see for lighting I use these uh, starry lights on a string it's battery operated Unfortunately, it was a bit short. Ideally, I would like it to be a bit longer, but it wasn't, so... It gives a little bit of, a, of light. And if we start on this side, I have these two glittery trees. It doesn't come across on the camera, but they are really sparkly. I bought these in um, a flower shop. I have, uh, I think I have five or six and use them both winter and for Christmas decorations. They are a bit uh, expensive. I think I bought the large one for 400 and these, this one for 300 Norwegian kroner. It's about 40 pounds and 30 pounds and a bit more in dollars so they're a bit expensive and in the middle I have this uh, reindeer it's from a Danish interior design company called Lennebjerre I love their work it's so detailed um, It's, it's not uh, necessarily Christmas or winter decoration. I have two deers and I'm always that I also also will show you and I have those up all year. And in this corner another of these large sparkly glittery trees. On the mantle below, as you can see, this is a working fireplace that we use. Um, so to be able to open the doors I don't want to have too much clutter here I put this uh, 
Yankee Candle uh, crackling wood fire it smells really nice and down below here you can see the two deers also from uh, the company Lene Bjerre and also gorgeous and very detailed and as I said these I have up all year now they're in my dining room but um, I usually have them in my living room it looks like a kind of sparkly forest doesn't it I think so over the fireplace I've hung a candle holder snowflake it's made of um, glass and these have a uh, sentimental value this is the first Christmas present my daughter bought for us with her own money I don't know what you call uh, these kinds of candles we call them tea tea candles tea lights uh, I don't know the English word On the side of the fireplace I have put a white old wooden chair uh, which I have painted, painted white um, and I put a grey cheap skin, do you call it that in English? I think so. And with a pillow and the pattern on this pillow is called the Marius, it's a well known Norwegian pattern. Uh, you can find it in uh, sweaters and yeah lots of clothing and uh, towels and yeah usually in in uh, red and blue and white but you also get it in pink and grays and yeah I love it over the chair um, this is and I, I I'll insert a picture this is a display I also had uh, for Christmas but uh, at Christmas it's uh, with the uh, red colors it's so difficult to get the camera to focus so I turn out the lights while I'll show you and explain I started with the, these string lights I think it's about 12 string of lights I found these years ago didn't know what to use them for until this year and I've hung everything in hooks in the roof, on the ceiling. Uh, and then I used these white glittery garlands, also bought at the flower shop. And these glittery snowflakes. I also found some branches, these, with these uh, white... I, th I think it's made of glass yeah. really simple I'll turn the lights back on so you can see, you can see. so these are my winter fireplace mantle decorations. So there you go guys, that's how I've decorated my fireplace mantle for winter. I know that some many YouTubers already is decorating for uh, spring but here in Norway it's really cold and a lot of snow so we will have winter for a long time I will show you more of my winter decorations and how I blend my Easter decorations uh, into my winter decorations on this channel I will uh, talk about decorating my home, uh, I decorate cakes, 
Um, I have a lot of hobbies with, which I will share with you. Um, and this little guy is one of my hobbies. Uh, this is Ulian. He's a Chinese crested. I have two Chinese crested uh, and a lab. And I have two horses, a Frisian horse and a gypsy, gypsy horse. Um, and if you follow my channel, you will get to know us all and my home. We ha always have a lot of projects here. Um, please subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, if you like this. Uh, I hope in time I will get better both with filming and of course with my English. Um, yeah, so I hope you stay tuned and come back and that we'll see you again. Bye! So, my <coughs> Turn on the not notification. Oh, that's that's a difficult word. Notification is is it not notification bell? Uh. <laughs>